What's happening, drive through toy fans? It's me, Mitch Santona, your buddy and pal. Today we're taking a look at Raya the Last Dragon from McDonald's. And first up, we have Raya with the Jade Sword. I think it's called the Jade Sword. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I did watch this movie a while back, but I remember nothing about it. Except that she had a sword that was magical, and the dragon was really long. <laughs> and that was it. That's all I remember out of this. You go like this and chop. Look at that. Just the, the oh, the amount of force behind the sword swing. It's incredible. Let's see if we can get something up here. Here, I got a Bumblebee toy. We'll put him up there. Let's see if we can knock down Bumblebee with the force of this magical sword. Oh, man. Raya. Home run. Next up, we have Sisu. And I'm pulling it in right now. Check this out. Oh, man. Look at this toy. Look at how long this toy is. That is the coolest, one of the coolest McDonald's toys I think I've ever seen, no exaggeration. Look at how huge that is for one toy. Now these things come apart and you can put it together and you can actually make her shorter if you like too. Like if you don't want all of that body, you could just go like this and connect it and make a shorter toy. But not only do you get all this articulation and all these pieces to make this a real large thing, but she's got some arm articulation and the head, check this out, the head spring-loaded to also attack. More attacking action. Let's bring out Bumblebee one more time. Let's see if she can knock down Bumblebee. Bumblebee, you're going to be like our bowling pin today, buddy. How about this? You think we can do it? What do you think? Oh! <laughs> oh almost. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. I'm going to leave Sisu in the back because this is what she turns into as a human. And this is one of those top toys. You can see this is weighted on the bottom. It's nice and heavy. And it kind of rocks around. But what you're supposed to do with this is, you guessed it, that. Next, we have Tuck Tuck, another awesome toy. This is a really fun set, guys. I'm, I'm uh, really impressed with this. This is a very cool one. I've not seen this either. And this dude is super cute. He's super cute in the movie as well. But what's really cool is that you can totally armadillo him all the way up, fold him into a complete ball. Is Look how cool that is. Look at how cool that is. And then you can grab it. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to roll him around. Let's see if I can. Here we go. There we... <laughs> he sort of does it. He sort of rolls around. But it's still it's still awesome. There we go. There we got him going now. Oh, yeah. Tuck, tuck. Do it. Do it, tuck, tuck. But this is a really fun one. Next up, we have... Anji? Angi? <laughs> Angai? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you say it. And what you do with this is exactly what I'm showing you here. I think you just go like this. And that's the gimmick to this toy. Just for hours. I mean, you're eating your Happy Meal. You're watching the Raya movie. And you're just doing this. Just cranking this thing. Maybe you could put like a... A, a chunk of cheddar cheese or something over here, or like a, like some Parmesan, you know, like that hard Parmesan, and you could use it as a cheese grater or something. I don't know, man. Use your imagination. But totally Wikipedia this and find out exactly how to pronounce this dude's name, but it looks like it's Buon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what his name is. Buon? Buon? Uh, this is another name that's eluding me. But as you can see, he is like a spinning cartwheel water toy thing <laughs> he's he was a little he was a little boat person i think if i remember correctly and i think the little splashing is the water but this is kind of getting more and more fun as i do it look how oh yeah man this is good stuff next we have namari and namari has a spring-loaded gimmick just like raya on her waist where she can you know Turn her around and do a little knifing, a little slashing, a little cutting, a little chopping. And, you know, you can get Raya over here. And Raya can do a little sword swing. And she can swing right back with her double murdered blades. I mean, real family friendly when you're trying to have a little chicken McNugget meal at the, at the local McDonald's. And your kid's got, you know, toys with swords and knives. And they're stabbing, each, cutting each other's throats and stabbing each other in the back and you know having a good old family time with cheeseburgers mcdonald's shakes and 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 murder death happy meals 
And here we have Tonk, the last of the set. As you can see, he's got a, I was going to say a bludgeoning weapon, but that is an axe, which is sharpened. So, you know, more, more violence here on this Happy Meal set. Let's get Raya back. We'll see if Tonk can, yeah, yeah, he, he can take her out. He could probably take out Namari, yes. Can he knock out Bumblebee? We got to bring him back in. Come on, Bumblebee, stand up. You're getting knocked around a bit, buddy, but he's got to take one for the team, man. This is this is what it's like on the drive through Toys channel. Tonk taking out everybody with the giant, big, green axe. That's going to wrap it up for me, folks. I'm Mitch Santona for drive through Toys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more drive through fun.